Okay, hello. So this time uh, we will solve again another let's defend uh, case, another login case. So search util suspicious search util usage. Okay. So this is the second installment of our let's defend challenge. So simply uh, take ownership of the case. Continue, and then we need to create a case for that. Click continue, and then we have to start the playbook. Okay, so I would really recommend you to do multiple tabs again. Uh, let's go back so that you could view the specific details. Uh, okay, so here are the details again okay so start the playbook or the investigation again it will show you since we are dealing with the low bin case uh, what low bin is all about and search util.exe is another built-in executable within windows that can be abused by attackers okay quick start again we have to identify the binary okay to do that Actually, it's the related binary is already in the alert, but just the same. Uh, assuming this is your your EDR system, you have to search it. Okay, this is the related machine. Then we can click on the command history. And then the binary that's doing some suspicious. Uh, Actually, the alert is already a giveaway. It's a search util that exe. Okay. Now that we have identified it, uh, click next and determine suspicious activity. So here again, the guidelines finding a suspicious activity, and then we have to identify if the activity is suspicious. So let's look again on the command history. Notice here, uh, search util that exe is downloading and map and then it's also downloading an exploit exploit python script right here and if you notice uh, it indeed ran the the nmap command then searching for open port 80s and it even after that it ran the exploit python script and it it's trying to find a password, pass keyword on the output, and then it in, actually invoke PowerShell again. Lastly, okay, so definitely uh, the answer for this is yes, suspicious. Okay, what is the suspicious activity again? Uh, an executable was download and even even an exploit file exploit script so download and then who performed the malicious activity so this time it's the user triggered and then we have to contain the machine so to do that uh, we're already here we have to click contain this one press containment okay going back click next then we have to to add artifact okay so that artifact for this would be uh, if we go back to the command history definitely we can add the nmap nmap.org uh, that's that uh, that is a this is recommended uh, if you have an official or sanctioned scanner within your enterprise for example you have Nessus or Qualys there's really no need to download nmap separately because this will just be used for by non-authorized personnel to do scanning within your network that's that's the full artifact here so IOC here for this alert Not, nothing else right Okay, so here 
but when investigated, Globin must leverage again. Uh, search util that XM was used to download nmap and exploit, which is further used to scan the network. Okay, and, and exploit plus run to find credentials. Okay. So we click next, and we can now complete the playbook or investigation. Okay, and then of course we need to close the alert being the SOC analyst. Uh, we have to close the alert once we're done with the investigation and after the remediation containment. Definitely this is a true positive. We can now close the alert. Okay. Congrats.